الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله We know the status of the ulama of Islam and we know the importance of adhering to the madhab of the salaf to the minhaj of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah to kitab Allah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam we know this the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa rashidin al mahdi it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman, and Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "If تركت اليهود لثلاث وسبعين فرقة، وفترقت النصارى لثنتين وسبعين فرقة، وستفترق هذه أمة لثلاث وسبعين فرقة، كلها في النار الواحدة كل من هي يا رسول الله." قال من كان على مثل ما كان عليه وأصحابي اليوم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "The Jews broken in seventy one sects, Christians in the seventy two sects, my Umm in the seventy three sects, all of them in the fire except one." And they said, "Who are they, Ya Rasulullah?" The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon." So Ahabat Fillah, with having that asal established. That we have to adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Taraktukum mala bayda laylaha kan nahariha ma yuzig anha illa halak." Or, كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that I've left two things. Uh, I've left you with the uh, the bright things or the white things or however you want to interpret it. That guidance. And no one departs from it except that they are destroyed, or it is it is like that it is as bright or as clear as the the day as in the night, and no one departs from it except they are destroyed. Ahabatifillah. It saddens me when I hear the fitna baina ahlu sunnah between ahlu sunnah that takes place all around the world. But especially, our brothers and sisters have so much confusion about what's taking place. Uh, there are conferences and things going on, uh, especially in the UK, and that's min fadlillah that they have greater access to the ulama. The ulama come more often to the UK than probably they do to uh, the US and other European countries. Wallahi alhamd. But it pains me when I hear brothers warning against such events because they believe. The masjids that the conferences are being held in are his uh, his be masajid. Even if if they were his be masajid, ahabatifillah. Are you telling me that it's better to sit in your homes boycotting the ulama who came to you in your land in the land of disbelief? They came and made the rahla. They came to. To call to Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Madhab of the Salaf, and you're going to leave it because so and so and so and so warned against it. Wa iyaadin billah min ahla fitn wa ahla zid. May Allah protect us from the people of fitna, the people of hawa, the people of uh, bid'a, and the hisbiyun, whichever cloak they may wear. Ahabat fillah, that would be you are doing yourself a disservice. If you do not attend those conferences that host ulama salafia, and don't even listen or pay attention for one second to those who are much less than them in status who warn against it, even from ulama, there are some ulama that we respect, we love them because they're ulama known for the sunnah, but they warn against these conferences and they don't have any clue because they take their. Understanding of the situation in the UK from particular individuals, particular jamaat, particular groups, and may Allah guide us in them. Ahabat fillah, we are in an extreme need for coming together based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul. And I advise myself and my brothers and sisters do not miss those opportunities to sit with ulama. Of Salafia, ulama of Ahlu Sunnati wal Jamaa, in this time, the elders like Sheikh Saleh Suhaimi and a Sheikh uh, Suleiman Al Rahili and others that are that are coming, Sheikh uh, the the father Sheikh Falah Ismail and others 
How how is this? Has it it's gotten this sick? This is sickness, Ahabati Fillah. Don't follow the sickness and follow Kitabillah with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salah because you're going to be asked by your Lord not about which conference you attended but what you missed from the ulama when they came to you. They came to you to give you Kitabillah with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They came to call you to Tamasik Bi Kitabillah with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but you, but you spent your time warning against the gathering of ulama and the sunnah. We could see if it was ulama of Ahl bidah or hatta ulama nakhtalafi, even if it was ulama that we differed over. Don't sit and be stuck in these places of disbelief and you didn't do anything for your soul. This is soul food. So benefit and gain benefit. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.